Welcome! E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on guys? It is OGC here. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the new-ish uh, hero, Kitano. Kitano just seems like such a cool name for a uh, hero. This hero looks mad cool on the battlefield. So to kick everything off, as far as the uh, items to, to put on him, um, the artifacts, all of that wonderful stuff, what we're going to do is towards the end, we're going to hop into Dual Tower and look at some top players and see what, what they're using. What I imagine will probably help him out is uh, the Drake set, you really can't go wrong. Uh, some of the high items from the Void, I think would, would also be super Super useful uh, right now you can see mine's uh, level four I'm not really using him uh, which is why I haven't done a video sooner but I figured out uh, through popular demand uh, people were requesting this so let's jump on in so first of all he has a, uh, a skill called duality this one you can't put any points in I love the idea of this skill because I'm a huge believer in duality, kind of like the yin with the yang. I can't have happiness if I don't experience sadness. So anyways, uh, this one just resonates with me. And he can uh, gain light and dark points. So he can, he can accrue a maximum of five light and or dark points. Um, more on that to come. So first we have the Yaido Strike. So after seven basic attacks, and this will drop down so it's after two, uh, his next attack uh, will be a Yaido Strike. Yaido Strikes are guaranteed to critical hit, dealing 1.2 times the, the damage of a basic attack. That will go up as well and inflict 30% uh, lifesteal. So each Yaido Strike uh, gains one dark point. He cannot Yaido Strike if he is in light mode. So that's uh, the Yaido Strike is the dark uh, that will get him some health back and deal a little bit more damage. Next we have uh, Aura Blade. So Aura Blade is no armor can withstand, withstand uh, uh, Keanu's uh, strike. So his basic attacks inflict uh, dark aura. So targets take 5% more damage and that increases and that lasts for 5 seconds. Whenever he deals damage with basic attack when the target has a dark, dark aura, his attack speed is automatically increased, lasting for a period of time with a maximum of 10, 10 times. So basically he hits something, he puts this aura on that thing, they take more damage than if he hits that, that same target again he gets some attack speed. That's pretty solid, that's a really solid skill. Next we have uh, Formless Swipe. So whenever um, Kianto's basic attacks deals a critical hit, there's a 5% chance that Formless Swipe will be activated, greatly repelling enemy units. Enemies hit uh, by it will take extra damage, have their movement speed reduced, and are taunted, lasting for five seconds. So for five seconds, after each Formless Swipe, his physical damage is reduced by 5%. This will gain him light points. Uh, and he cannot use this if he's in dark mode. Interesting stuff. Next we have Iron Body. This one is uh, huge. So Iron Body, whenever uh, Kianto is hit, uh, there's a 3% chance that he'll recover HP equivalent to 1% of his max health, while also restoring uh, health to friendly units and bestowing 5% uh, critical resistance lasting 10 seconds. Now that crit rate, uh, resistance goes up, which is huge. And also this is just restoring health not only to him but to the units around him this skill is massive regardless of your build for him that is something to consider maxing out next we have uh, karmatic uh, resolution so each light point and remember light point is that formless swipe the taunt um in the slow and damage reduction so dark is increased crit and uh, uh life steal so life steal crit damage dark Light is protection, damage reduction, uh, reducing enemies, damage, movement, speed, taunting. So light is kind of tanky, dark is kind of offensive-y. Uh, so each light point decreases his damage taken by 6%. So right there we can see that the trend with the light points uh, making him more tanky, uh, reduction by 6%. Remember he can go up to 5 light points, so that would be 30% reduction if he's maxed out. Uh, each dark point increases his damage dealt by 9%. That again can go up to 5 points there, which bring that up to 45%. Upon reaching 5 uh, light points or dark points, uh, Kianto can spend them to enter light mode or dark mode and receive the following bonuses. Uh, so pretty much he's got a bar above his head. It has two different lines, uh, 5 spots in each. One is light, one is dark. So once he fills up one of those bars, he can go into this. So in light mode, his tanky 
taunting uh, reduce the enemy damage uh, mode. His crit rate is increased by 5% and his healing effects are increased by 7.5%. So that whole thing with the iron body that, that not only heals him but heals other stuff around him, that is increased by quite a bit, by 7.5%. Let's see, if we bring that up uh, a level, it's up to 12%. So that will grow very, very well. Now in dark mode, remember dark mode is his Yido strike, his additional damage, uh, in, in, uh, he also has life steal from it. So in dark mode, uh, his attack speed is increased by 6.3% and his critical damage is increased by 8.5%. And that also looks like it grows pretty, pretty fast too, where the attack speed goes up to 10% and crit rate goes up to 13.5% um, just by one level. So that re will really accent his offensiveness uh, as far as the dark mode so when he does crit and he gets 30 percent life seal off of that crit he's also going to uh get more off of that life seal so light and dark mode lasts for eight seconds well in lighter dark mode uh kanto is immune to control effects karmatic resolution can only uh be used to enter lighter dark mode a maximum of twice per battle so you can only use this twice in, uh, to, to enter into one of those modes. His final one is a karmatic, uh, karmatic uh, something. So without entering lighter dark, uh, without spending lighter dark points, he immediately enters lighter dark mode, uh, depending on whether he has more light or dark points, uh, lasting for 15 seconds. So this is one way to forcefully enter it um, by using one of the health. So while in light or dark modes, he receives certain bonuses, which can also be received by entering light and dark mode by using the karmatic uh, resolution. So these two kind of play off of each other to further buff him when he does fill up his light or dark bars. So while in dark mode, every basic attack it is a Yido Strike, causing damage in the larger radius and dealing 20% more damage than a standard Yido Strike, with 70% of the lifesteal effect of a standard Yido Strike. Uh, well in, so. Well, he's in dark mode, should we use the karmatic uh, evolution uh, to go into the dark mode? Dark mode, Yayo Strike, increased attack speed, increased crit rate, increased... Uh, this is through all, all of the abilities, the other karmatic one and this current uh, karmatic one along with the Yido Strike. So, increased attack speed, increased crit rate, increased uh, crit damage and attack speed and lifesteal. So, all of these things will get drastically higher, which means that... He would be more like a Bazrix healing up through life seal than a straight up tank. Um, I can't imagine that the damage from this is is crazy. He seems like a very standard gladiator, not a rogue. Uh, so I don't imagine him breaking the charts for damage. However, uh, let's go on to the tankiness, uh, the light mode. So remember, in the light mode, he is a tank. He taunts. He reduces enemies' damage and movement speed. Um, so, and he also increases his healing efficiency, which is uh, huge. That's huge considering his iron body thing. So, well in light mode, uh, Kianto summons a benevolent R. Sur surrounding troops take 10% less damage and receive 10% more healing, while he restores uh, 11,000 health over a short period. Uh, let's see how these bonuses go. So that goes up a little bit. 18% uh, more healing. That's pretty wild. So I think looking at bo both of these and kind of looking at everything, it, it looks like um, it looks like light mode, in my opinion, is probably better with the current meta. However, I, I think that it's hard to set him up for that. So the reason why I think that it's hard to set him up for light mode, because in, in theory, the light mode should be better. Um, I think entering dark mode and getting the dark mode buffs dark mode offense light mode defense the dark mode uh, is because his attack speed is increased um, as he gains more and more dark points um, in the the yado strike so i think you can go either way with him and honestly i think that you can go both ways uh, i think you can have light and dark Woo getting crazy in here so what i would do if if i was to use um if i was to use uh Keanto today me this is just for me without trying him i would probably bring yado strike uh, up uh max that out i think that i would um i would definitely bring up the uh aura blade um i don't know if i can max that out but i would bring that up because that just increases the damage that 
the enemy troops take from from all sources uh the formless swipe i would skip iron body i would max this out iron body no matter what your build is you want this max out uh hands down uh and then i would put the rest of the points into the karmatic resolution and karmatic evolution i don't see myself spending the the time to cast this as a skill but towards the end of a fight sure well why not why, why, why not do that so maybe a one point wonder for this um so i think what i would focus on is max out iron body uh bring yado strike and aura blade up as high as possible if not max out in karmatic resolution um i would skip the formless swipe so on paper light mode looks like it's the best uh because like the effects just seem huge your friendly troops heal more that fits this meta that we're in uh, by far a lot better but i think practicality wise the dark mode is probably um uh, bet better so let's jump into the dual tower Let, let's go look at uh some players in, in the builds for their uh cantos just to see you know like what what why not um so we got sir chris here we got somebody else so let's uh let's look at somebody else's uh Keanto. and if you're looking for ideas for what items to put on him um this one looks like a tectonic axe for the damage reduction they have the sunblade blaze which is huge uh, because he's going to do more and more damage. He has the Snake Thorn uh, chest guard. This is great for the additional evade. Uh, we have the Feathered Cap for additional damage. We also have the Heart of Darkness, which uh, gives him a 20% chance to disarm enemies. Uh, and then, we, of course, we have the Band of Bishop for the healing to everything around. As far as how this one's set up, so there's no Drake set on him, uh, so that he can pretty much have that Band of Bishop and, and uh, everything along those lines. But he has Yido Strike max out. Aura Blade is at uh, 6 out of 9. Nothing in Formless Swipe. Iron Body is at 9 out of 9. Karmatic Resolution is at 9 out of 9. And 2 points in Karmatic Evolution. So I think if I was to make a uh, Kianto, uh today, this is the build that I would go with. Um, I think that uh, probably, yeah, max out the Ido Strike. Iron Body, of course, Karmatic Resolution. So he, he can enter it. Um, I think that that's huge. Uh, Sir Chris, uh, and if, also uh, before I forget... He is going with the Dark Claws on him as far as the Artifact and Tiny Mighty, so just Prism to boost up everything. Um, I think if we look at Sir Chris's, uh, I have a feeling Sir Chris's is probably a little bit different. Um, so Sir Chris has the Gladiator set on. Uh, he does have the Drake set as well. Uh, same Artifact, uh, Max out of course, and also Tiny, Tiny Mighty. And as far as Sir Chris's build, he does have the Yido Strike Max out. He has Aura Blade at 5 out of 9, so slightly lower. Formless Swipe is at 5 out of 9. Iron Body is at 9 out of 9. And Karmatic Resolution is 9 out of 9. Is the Drake set not, not full? Okay, so he has the two-piece Drake set. Uh, and then the uh, uh, bishop uh, trinket. I think that bishop trinket is too huge to pass up on him. So I think for me, if I was to build a Kianto, the fallen bishop band, uh, the one from the really high stages in the void, I think it's like 160 eight or i don't know around there this is a must-have on him uh it fits him perfect it's kind of like belrog the the two the two heroes should absolutely have this i would probably you need some sort of damage mitigation on him uh which for sir chris is the dragon set uh for the other player they have the tectonic axe plus the sink thorn um chest piece either combination one one will give you slightly more evade and a little bit of damage mitigation uh this one that sir chris is using has higher damage mitigation but less evade uh and I kind of would, if I can't do a three-piece uh, Molten set or the Drake set, I would probably go with more specialized uh, items. Um, I, I did like the other guys build quite quite a bit. I, I think this is probably uh, the way to go, um, being able to disarm. It just seems like this hero goes out and he just causes a little bit of a ruckus uh, and he just tries to tank a little bit. Yeah, I, I don't think there's too much more more than that. If we look at this fight, uh, I highly doubt we're going to see Yaido any or uh, Kianto uh, high at all when it comes to to the damage dealt. Um, I I don't see him on Sir Chris's any anywhere. Oh, he he's got to be higher than Avalon. That that that's for sure. So for Sir Chris, it looks like uh, Kianto. 
Wow, okay. Uh, so maybe I can find him. That's okay, I, I don't want to get hung up on it. Uh, that's Denji. Okay, now it's starting to bother me. Okay, so he had 15... 0.6 uh, million damage. He was slightly higher than Lunella below Balrog. So now if we look at the other guy whose name I, I cannot pronounce and we're looking for his uh, Kianto. Uh, so his Kianto is 28 million damage. Um, so he's above uh, he's above Jax. So that's kind of cool. So he did a little bit more damage. I mean Tuck did 40 million damage. So I mean it, it is what, what it is. When we look at damage taint uh, I wonder if uh, Kianto pu pups up here for for Circus. Uh, I'm gonna assume. Okay, so he took uh, 3.3 3 billion damage for for the enemy guy, uh, whose name I I cannot pronounce. Uh, he was able to tank. Um, that's Gafgar. Uh, so he won. So it was 268 million. Circus did uh, 3.3 3 billion in healing. Let's see how high up they made it on the healing. So Circus is Belrog um, top. Uh, which kind of makes sense with the fallen uh, bishop band and all that other stuff. And uh, Kianto's down there. He's still got uh, 370 million. It doesn't compare to the Azure dragons, of course. And for the enemy, uh, whose name I still cannot pronounce, uh, he got almost 100 million. So there's a little bit of healing there. I, overall, I don't think he's the, the best uh, gladiator out there. Is he good? Yes, he kind of fit, fits uh, the gladiator role, but it's nothing special or over the top. So with that, guys, I hope you guys had uh, in enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys want to further support the channel, please smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Uh, make sure that you guys go down into the description. We have a Facebook group. Feel free to join it. We're just about a 1,000 members, which is wild. Uh, and if you want to further support the channel, feel free to donate. There's a direct donation thing down in the description. I always appreciate it. Thank you, guys, and have a wonderful day.